I'm Amanda and I play rugby here at Penn State and yeah I've made a lot of friends on the team it's helped me with socialization some of my best friends are on the team and when I went home over Christmas break I went to the store alone and I had my rugby jacket on and this guy that was checking me out was like oh do you play rugby I said yes and he said oh I didn't know girls did that and I was like yeah like we're, we're pretty good and kind of well-known around campus and somewhat in the Pennsylvania area. And the fact that the, he didn't even know that women played rugby shows that we don't get the recognition we deserve. Like, Penn State's team is a 12-time national championship team. Like, we're actually out here doing something and not many people know about it. I was heading out of class one day and I had my rugby backpack um, and this guy from behind me goes, oh, we have a women's team here? And I went, yeah, we have a women's team here. Um, and he went, oh, I thought only the guys play rugby. And I guess he thought that because uh, people don't consider rugby to be a men's and a women's sport. They think it's more uh, focused on the men, which just shows that like the guys are more recognized in, in terms of for rugby. And I just feel like the women's teams don't get as much recognition even though they work equally as hard and sometimes even harder than the men's teams. And it's really just something that all girls should get a chance and opportunity to try out. I think that if any woman were to try out rugby from ages 4 to 40, they would find something that they love about it and they could find a home and a teammate that they can call their best friend. There are a lot of really powerful women in rugby and strong, great role models and it's from, like I said, 4 to 40, anyone you can look up to and there's just so much wholesomeness and love and like unity in rugby and I think everyone should be fortunate enough to get the chance to try it. Women who play rugby are often called butch, unladylike, or masculine. Um, many people will question their ability to even play and tell them that they shouldn't play because of their size, because they'll get hurt, or it's not a women's sport. These stereotypes discourage girls from playing rugby and add to women being the much smaller minority of rugby players. We need to stop this stereotyping and instead encourage and support girls who play rugby.